Zara Grace, or ZZ as she was affectionately known, died suddenly during a track meet at the George Odlum Stadium at the tender age of 10, almost a year ago. According to reports, medical officers failed to resuscitate the young girl after some three hours following her collapse on the track. The Zara Grace Foundation was established in her honor following her sudden passing. On Saturday, April 15th, the foundation, together with the St. Lucia Athletics Association, met at the same stadium to host a track and field sports meet as tribute to the 10-year-old. The objective always is to give young kids opportunities because it's not always available for them. I mean, you know the situation that we have um, in Viewfort, um, but really is to help them to give them a better future, to become better citizens, you know, to be contributors to the society and, you know, just basically to get them from being idle but being out there and, Make it a, and you never know, again. they have natural skills the and we're there to support them, meters, support them so that they can achieve their, seven, you know, their, their full purpose in life. MP for Viewfort North, Moses Jabatis, who is also a family friend, says Zara touched many lives during her short time on earth. I know the family very well, and all of us at some point must go. ZZ was there for a very short time, but look at what her life has, has started to do. And the foundation, I'm sure, will do so many more things. So her existence here on earth will certainly bring not only joy, but benefits to so many people in the future. So I'm proud to be associated with this activity. I want to wish you well, children. Um, fair play, there's another thing you say in sports. Fair play and what else was the other thing? Fair play and sportsmanship. sportsmanship and sports leadership, if there's such a word. <laughs> I wish you well, and we are just coming off the Carifta Games. So let us again congratulate all this, the, the, child, the young people who, who, who really made us proud. Hey, Pepe! Hey, Pepe! The authorities have been exploring sports as an avenue to keep young people away from a life of crime. The St. Slusha Athletics Association welcomed the opportunity to allow youngsters to compete at such a crucial age, 14 years and under. At that level, um, 14 years and under, uh, we know that's the, the building ground and that's the, where the foundation starts for, for athletic stars. Um, many of our athletic stars have gone through events such as this one. So we are thankful for the Zara Grace family for coming up with this initiative. Um, we continue to provide them with the necessary support that they need to ensure that it's an annual event and we continue to to encourage more of our, of our affiliates to cater to that type of activity and continue to cherish the, those type of opportunities. Our kids are, are, calling, are calling for, for those, those opportunities to, sh to show off their talent, their talent sorry, and to, to release those, those inner energies that they have. The track and the field sports meet saw the participation from clubs throughout the island. The Zara Grace Foundation hopes the meet can be an annual event. The organization is also providing support in health and education. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.